beautiful. The arch has all three famous stained glass windows at Notre Dame survived the fire. On Monday, Hans Rolf was watching the news. What the inspectors over there are going to have to do, they're going to have to get up on the lifts and get close up to it. His family business in Mount Vernon is stained glass. They've been around for nearly a century, specializing in creating, repairing, and restoring stained and leaded glass, especially at churches. Is it fragile? Well, it's only an eighth of an inch, so yes, it is. The strong glass tells a story. Heat can melt it, and the lead that frames each individual piece. The windows are on the outer boundaries of the building, and my, that might have been the lucky part. That the glass themselves is still intact is, is marvelous and, you know, a great thing. About every hundred years is when you normally take windows out to relead them. The crew at Rolf's studio is working on a big project now, repairing and replacing the windows from the Transfiguration of Christ Greek Orthodox Church in Queens. Some of the original windows survived the fire that burned in May of 2017. Neighbors and parishioners are watching the building. I meet George and John on the corner of 98th Street and 38th Avenue in Corona. They showed me a book with pictures of the way things used to be. Yeah, they mean a lot to the, to the neighbor. I get the correct side. Here's what the fire did to the windows from that church in Corona. Cracks need to be repaired. In some cases, pieces will be remade and reassembled from their collection of colors. It's all broken up. It's very weak because of, you know, I mean, uh, of, of the heat that it caused with the lead and the, and the solder joints. The new windows are on the way to the church in Corona, one pane at a time. Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.